Hello friends, so today in this video, we're going to discuss another problem from lead code. It's an easy problem, but it's a very standard problem. And initially in my days, in my starting days of coding, I generally find this problem very difficult. Uh, not too difficult, but yeah, it just requires some use of a proper data structure and some logic. And this problem is actually used in a lot of problems in different competitions also and in different interviews. So I just thought to make a video on that. Okay, so the problem is remove all addition duplicates in a string. It actually gives you that you're given a string S and what you actually have to do here is you have to keep on removing two adjacent same alphabets such that the string after those operations do not have any two adjacent alphabets. So what I mean by this is as you can see in this example, which is A, B, B, A, C, C, A. So I just write down this example to even make it more clear. Okay. So uh, delete it out. So if I take out this. Okay. So A B B A C C A. Okay. So what you can see in this example is because these B B are consecutive, so I just remove them out. Then the string will become A A C A. Now, I, now because after removing BB, what eventually happens is these two A comes together. And because two, these two A come together, they actually again form a two consecutive characters which are same. So I have to also remove them out. Then it becomes CA. And CA is the final string. We do not have any two consecutive characters. I hope you get the point. So you have to somehow dynamically remove the character so that if you remove out two characters, the remaining string can concatenate and can eventually form two characters which are adjacent and same. So you have to also keep in mind of that thing. In such type of problem in which two strings concatenate, you have to remove some part out and the remaining string again concatenate and then you have to again look back that maybe the same condition is happening before or not. In such type of problem, stack is very helpful. Okay. So what you can do in this problem is keep a stack okay stack means that you have uh, i'll tell you with the uh, implementation part first so as you can see what you can do here is you can take a pointer you can move from left to right make an i at this point and then if the stack is empty just insert the first character which is a then whether this a and b are same so you are not now at this point okay because you have inserted this a now you are at this point so whether this b and a are same these are not same. So insert B again on the top of the stack. Now you come to this point. Now, because the top of the stack is B and this is also B. What does this mean? Because I am going from left to right, this B and this B are same. So these are consecutive and these are consecutive. So if I again insert a B here, this will like, this is a contradiction because I do not want two consecutive alphabets to be same and they should be pushed in the like in the stack. So what I can do here is because both of the characters are same. I just remove out this character from this stack. It eventually means that I am not inserting this character also and I am also removing this character. So this part is actually removed from the whole string. And now my string is just like I am I'm at this A now. And my previous character which is open is A. Because this part is deleted out. Now as you can see now again I have A. And my, like my stack has also A. Which means that because I will concatenate this A and this A after deleting out this BB, this will again form a pair, valid pair. So I instead of inserting this into the stack, remove this A. So the whole implementation is just take the i character and just match with the top of the stack. If they are same, then remove out the element of the top of the stack and do not insert anything. But if they are different, keep on inserting the element in the stack because they are not same. Okay. So as you can see now, I have no characters in the stack. Now I come to C. Now there is no character in the stack, so I don't have to compare it with anything. So just insert C. Now there is again A now. So because A and C are not same, which means that they are not uh, same alphabet, just insert A. Now this is the string we have to output, which is like C. And that's the final string. As you can see, I, I hope you understand the logic part of this problem. Now move to the code part now. Now you can like either make a stack. Okay. Like making a stack is helpful. Like you can make a stack of characters and do the same implementation. But a, like 
because you know different type of data structures and you know different STLs in strings in C++, you can implement in Java whatever way you want. You can make a stack, but strings, strings is a very important data structure. So as you can see, what you can do here is you can use strings as the same implementation as stacks. Okay. So what you can understand with this is I made an empty string, which is like a C string. Now move from left to right and instead of using a stack, so what, what actually a stack is stack is like pushing the strings like this now. So if you just tilt this stack in this format, just tilt it 90 degree clockwise, it will become like this. So now if you have some character, which is like a, then inserting B. So it's like concatenating these characters to a string. So if you make this as a string, a, B, and then again, inserting a B. So removing out the two characters. So, in a string there are different operate like op, uh, like different operations you can use in which you can always you cannot change the middle part of the string but you can insert or delete the last character of the strings you can pop out and push back into the string and that can be helpful and you can like manipulate or like do the same operation as a uh, stack in this problem so what i like what i've done here is i've used the string as a stack in this problem so if those like the string size is greater than zero, which means that the string has some characters and the last character of the string is same as the current character I am on. So because they're same, then what I'll do, I will just pop out the last character of the string. So if the B I am on and the last character on the string is also B, what I'll do, I will not insert this B, but instead I will pop out the last B from the string so that uh, this, this pair is removed. Instead, if this these like these two characters are not same then what i'll do i will push back this particular character into the string so if they are not same else i will just push back the particular si into the like into the string which is like this push back which is like inserting at the back and after all of them it actually helps us that because in the stack all of them are characters and then you have to again concatenate them to form a string because the output should be string but in this become because i'm manipulating in a string i will just return out the like the final string because i do not have to extract out all the characters from the stack and then combine them to form a string i hope you get the point because if you use a stack then you have to again the stack will consist of only characters and then in the end you have to extract out all the characters and form the string but in this because i'm actually manipulating the string itself in the end i can just return out the string itself and in the end we just return out the final string i hope you understand the logic and the core part for this problem it's a very easy problem but yet uh like in the initial days of my uh, coding journey i generally do not know this concept that's why i made a video on that it was helpful for you if you want to solve some easy problems in your starting days else you can leave out this problem i hope you understand the logic and the code part for this problem if you have any doubts or if you have some problem uh, suggestion you can mention on the comment box i will see you next time until i keep coding and bye